A few days ago, a group of scientists, doctors, environmental organizers, and concerned citizens got together and they called for the urgent stop to the deployment of 5G. They said mm. that it's been proven harmful to human bodies, that this is an experiment on humanity, mm. and that this should be called a crime under international law. Five G is a weapon. It's used by the military. Do you know these five G millimeter wave technologies are used to scatter crowds? They drive up in this technology when they want to scatter a cloud, and they put out these frequencies in a much higher power than than five G will be initially uh, with us, but the same frequencies. And people scatter because they get the feeling their skin is on fire because the human body, including the skin, is an antenna. It interacts with frequencies and it receives and transmits information. At the cutting edge of understanding of DNA, scientists know that DNA is a receiver transmitter of information. I have to tell people five G story. It's bigger than the Holocaust. It's bigger than anything you've ever heard. I'm Mark Steele. Anybody who hasn't heard me, I'm a weapons systems head up display expert, I'm one of the leading experts in the world. I've actually brought cover in relation to this, and the reason I became an expert was because I invented 5G is a killer. Do not believe a single word I say. Not one. I want you to do your own research. You'll find it's absolutely terrifying. There are going to be boxes broadcasting 5G, this weapon, down every street, all over the world. What we're concerned about 5G is that it's going to require a transmitter about every three to ten homes. So you're talking about a small cell tower placed in front of your home. Because these, at these high frequencies, you can't have... It doesn't travel very well. Yeah. Okay, and people need to understand, point. it's 24 gigahertz to 90 gigahertz. These wow. are not two feet. These are two inches to half an inch. And this is very dense wireless radiation hitting our bodies. What we know is that it pulses more. It's got higher frequency, more waves per second. It beats up the cells more. Let's talk about today's technology, what we have going on today. Your phone is constantly sending electromagnetic fields in and out of each other. Whether or not you're receiving a notification right now, all of our digital tech sends this data back and forth, right, using these invisible microwave radiation signals. Uh -huh. That's today's tech. We have every cell tower, every router constantly pulsing with radiation, whether or not you're using it. Science shows that this causes DNA damage, cancer, among other things. But don't take my word that, for it. That, and that's just with 4G. That's that's just with today's technology. Before Correct. we get to 5G, right now you got some of it, but exactly. not that much. Wireless radiation has biological effects, period. These effects are seen in all life forms, plants, animals, insects, microbes. In humans, we have clear evidence of cancer now. There is no question. We have evidence of DNA damage, cardiomyopathy, which is the precursor of congestive heart failure, neuropsychiatric effects, so 5G is not a conversation about whether or not these biological effects exist. They clearly do. 5G is a conversation about unsustainable healthcare expenditure. So we are electromagnetic electrical organisms, transmitters and receivers of information. When our electromagnetic fields are in balance and harmony, we have health. We have psychological health and we have physical health. The reason that this technological society is causing so much psychological and quote physical disease is because these frequencies technologically driven, and we live in this Wi-Fi world now and all this phone mass and all the rest of it, these technologically generated frequencies are scrambling the balance of the human electrical, electromagnetic electrical communication systems. And if you scramble them, you create a state of disharmony, dis-ease, which plays through to physical and mental, emotional, psychological dis-ease. And there's another point to this. The brain processes information electrically it communicates with the cellular structure electrically and it operates within a certain band of frequency. If you can broadcast frequencies carrying information, this, this technology has long been known, carrying information and perceptions within the frequency that, that the brain decodes information, the brain will decode those frequencies 
and will have those perceptions. Because you can influence people's perceptions externally by broadcasting these frequencies that, that we interact with because we are antenna. Okay. Now, some, some decades ago now, some decades ago, um, there was a guy who worked out the frequencies of different emotional states. This is long ago. I mean, it's very, very sophisticated now. So every thought, every emotional response is a frequency. It, it generates a frequency and it is of, of itself a frequency. Hate is a frequency and it's different to love. You know, when you are in a room and there's lots of aggression and conflict and hatred, you feel it. What do people say? Oh God, you can cut the atmosphere with a knife in there. That is because the frequencies of hate and conflict have been so generated, they have changed the electromagnetic field of the room. Okay, so got, 5G is gonna be weaponized against us potentially. Yeah, but the, the, the point being that they worked out the frequencies of various emotions, including rage and, and, and what have you. And basically, they, they can play across a community these frequencies without anyone knowing, and it starts to have an effect, and it starts to build, build rage, it starts to build anger, and people might not realize why they're feeling it, but they start to feel it. And then what they do is they, they trigger that with an event Maybe a, you know some guy is attacked by the police or something, or somebody's a, a arrested for something they didn't commit, and now the, there's the trigger. The blue touch paper's been lit of this manufactured frequency-driven rage, and you have mass riots and what have you, and people do things that they wouldn't normally do. And you can make people depressed. You know, the, the American military, they've admitted this. They have technology that fires frequencies at the enemy that basically breaks the enemy's spirit, so they give up and put their weapons down. This is the technology we're dealing with. Now you take that into account and then you think of 5G. First of all, 5G doesn't travel well because of the nature of its frequency. So instead of big towers, as we have now, broadcasting these frequencies long distances, it won't do that. And it doesn't go through solid objects, what we call solid objects, uh, very well either. So to overcome that, there are going to be boxes broadcasting 5G, this weapon, down every street, all over the world. You're talking phenomenal numbers of these boxes broadcasting, like on the lamp standard outside your children's bedroom and stuff, broadcasting this stuff. There's no way you'll be able to go where you'd be in, in a field of 5G. And another interesting thing, I don't know whether you've noticed this, but the story broke, first of all, in Sheffield. When the council started cutting down literally thousands and thousands and thousands of mature trees in urban streets and there were big protests about it you know sheffield claimed to be a green city but all these mature trees were coming down thousands of them and my brother he works as a um, a call out bus mechanic so a bus will break down they'll call him will come down and fix it on the side of the road so he's traveling all the time and he's saying it's amazing how many mature trees are being cut down. Now, the worst nightmare of 5G in a street is mature trees, because it can't get through them. They don't want urban trees for 5G because it won't go through solid objects very well at all and it doesn't travel far. So we're gonna have this explosion of 5G transmitters. And then, going back to what I said earlier, and they've admitted this too, they're gonna, there's gonna be like 20,000 satellites up there beaming 5G at the Earth. What is our exposure in a, in a day? It's not one cell phone. It's cell phones, it's multiple wireless networks, it's smart meters, it's cell towers. It's this sandwich and it all adds up. And this is a, this is a serious problem for occupational health public safety and personal safety. And I feel that it's irresponsible to be even talking about the internet of things and rolling out a new untested technology when we're not even measuring what are our current exposures from the current networks.